first Trent Williams fell in the 49ers laps. Now Larry Warford could too. Williams is the best left tackle in the NFL, and the Niners got him basically for a third round pick. All of a sudden, Warford is a free agent. How lucky can the 49ers get? Warford is one of the league's best right guards. The Saints released him Friday, didn't want to pay him $12 million in 2020. Replaced him with a rookie, Cesar Ruiz. Big loss for the Saints. Big potential gain for the 49ers. John Lynch should call Warford's agent today and offer his client a contract. Warford has gone to the Pro Bowl each of the past three seasons and still is only 28. He specializes in pass protection, has allowed just seven sacks in the past three seasons, and pass protection at right guard has hurt the 49ers since Kyle Shanahan became the head coach in 2017. When the 49ers go to hurry up mode on offense and the opposing defense knows the 49ers have to pass, the opponent usually puts its best def defensive tackle across from the 49ers right guard. Advantage defensive tackle every time. I mean, we've seen the Rams put Aaron Donald across from the 49ers right guards the past few seasons. And we saw the Chiefs put Chris Jones across from Mike Person in the Super Bowl. Person couldn't block Jones or even stop Jones from batting down passes at the line of scrimmage. Person was one of the main reasons the 49ers lost that Super Bowl. Now he's gone. 49ers released him and replaced him with his backup, Daniel Brunskill. Risky. Why hope and pray for Brunskill to succeed at right guard when the 49ers simply can sign Warford and not worry about that position anymore? The 49ers currently have $15 million in cap space, and they do have to save some money for George Kittle's contract extension. The Kittle factor makes signing Warford tricky. But the 49ers can backload Kittle's deal, meaning Kittle's salary can start low and increase yearly. The 49ers also can create almost $5 million in additional cap space by trading running back Tevin Coleman for a draft pick. They probably would receive no more than a late sixth round pick or an early seventh, but they should trade him anyway. Make more cap space, sign Warford, and strengthen the only glaring weakness remaining on the roster. Pick up a freaking phone, John. <laughs>